days today, my last day in Mexico. I have one hour until I reach Mexicali. There I'm gonna cross over the border back into California for the first time in a couple weeks. I'm sad, but I'm also looking forward to some more U.S. adventuring here in the next few weeks. There's literally people who walk for days at a time in Mexico. I had a couple people ask me for rides. I just uh, either don't feel safe about it or I just happen to not be going the same direction that they're heading. Made it to Mexicali. For some reason, I just feel super anxious over this. I don't know why. Just probably because I have no idea what I'm doing. I've never entered back into the U.S. before by car, so we'll see if it's any, any different than uh, entering Mexico. It probably didn't make any sense, but I'm going to figure this out. Just hope there's English on the street signs. Driving through Mexicali is actually really easy. Mexicali is definitely uh, more modern and the street signs are nice to follow and there's lights and actual lines on the road. In a long line. Goes on for a while. It's 11.30 now. We'll see what time I get into the US. Wow, that's the saddest looking palm tree I think I've ever seen. I don't really know if I'm going the right way. I'm going to Carroll Century exit, whatever that is. Looks like it's gonna bring me next to the border customs building, but I I don't really know. I wish there was some English over here. I figured there would be since every car in this lane is from America, it seems like. But it has to be. This is the main route that brings me to the border in Mexicali. Something's going on. I don't know what's going on. I guess I'm in the wrong lane and now these guys are telling me where to go who are riding on someone else's car. Don't know what's going on. Supposed to be over there on that side, I suppose. And now they're they're taking me down this lane. I don't, these guys, I don't know. I thought this was gonna be easy. This is the most confusing thing ever. I'm in the Carry Century Lane, which is like a special pass I need or something. If I don't have the pass, I didn't spend the money. So now I'm supposed to be on the other side, but I'm not. Don't know what's going on. I'm supposed to be on that side of the wall. Not in the century lane, it's supposed to be the other side. Yeah. No, I don't. No, I'm uh, wrong uh, lane. I'm supposed to be over there? Am I supposed to be over there? Normal line? Yeah. Oh, okay. No, te vas a tener que regresar por la misma. How do I go over there? Es que no sé inglés, mi amigo, sí. La línea normal, normal line. Normal line. Sí. How do I get there? No más no vas a seguir. Come on. So you, you, you don't have century, right? No. But you have to go to California. You, California I'm going to, to go America, to California. See. Sí. All right. Are you are you with her? No. Are you with the dude in front? No. Oh, are you by yourself? I'm by myself. Yeah. Okay. What can we do? What can we do here? Is that you can make a U-turn right here? Yeah. Just follow me. You put the message like you gonna gonna fly on this road right here, and I'm gonna help you out to go to a normal line. I really messed this up big time. It's been around. See. Yep. Yeah. After her. Yeah. Oh, she just scraped her car. <laughs> Not good. Okay, come on. Wait. Okay, now I'm going to yell at the cops. Wait, wait, sorry, wait, wait. That was in the wrong line the whole time. Guys are, are, are escorting me. I don't even know if these guys work here. Are they just running around looking? Hey, I'm not complaining. Is this even recording? Man, I just waited a line for so long. This wasn't even the right line. Right here, and the yellow thing you're gonna make a U-turn. 
and buy. You know, right there with, where that car is yeah. going, right there? Yeah, yeah, I'm going to help you out. It's only $40. Sir. Okay, I'll give you money. Yeah. Uh, 40 and, 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 and it's another for, for us because we here, it's only on all 40 where, so we can get something to eat too for us. No, that's for you. No, no, for, for the guy who is in the first bridge. Where right now it's only 40 so we can get something to eat. I'm gonna help you out to get out of this road and take the normal one. I think. I think that's that's a lot of money. Oh, well, at least at least 20 so we can. We, I'll, I'll give you 10 dollars. 10? Make a U turn the yellow thing. Okay, thank you. Go ahead. Let me ask stop. Stop, be careful this light. Okay, you turn and stop. Head southeast on Calzada de los Presidentes. Mission Sentry, then turn left onto Fuente Blanco. You're, you're gonna follow me? See. Mi hablo muy poquito español. Si. ¿Qué le? ¿Qué le? Si. ¿Es? ¿Es on? Si. Okay. You, you're driving wrong way. I know, I, I didn't realize it. Where you live? I'm, I live in New Hampshire in USA. What, where? It's called New Hampshire. New Hampshire. It's at the top, very top of, of USA. I'm trying to get over the border. Today. Where you come from? All the way down to Cabo, San Lucas, and all, all the way back. Yeah, I'm just on a vacation, basically. Okay. I'm just Your driver get... license. Yeah. Beru, tell me your name. Beru? Barubi. It's my, my name is Logan Barubi. Beru. Barubi. Barubi. Yeah, it's Barubi. weird. It's... Okay, look at this. It's it's a traffic violation. Okay. For the ground way. A ticket? It's a ticket. Okay. I punched in a uh, town in California, and yeah. then I just followed the GPS. I figured it would take me on the right lane. But I came in from the um, Mexi I came in from the Tequete border, uh -huh. so this is a different border. Y regresarte en sentido contrario es una infracción de tránsito. Okay. Sí. Okay. <laughs> Uh, go to station to pay ticket. Uh -huh. What station should I go to? You oh the station for for Mexicali. Ah, uh, Mexicali. See, si, okay. So you're gonna I'm gonna follow you. Uh -huh. See, si, okay. Okay. See. Si. Okay. <laughs> Where are you going? I'm going back to the USA. Bye. You wanna go to to USA? I'm going to California. See. Si. California. Yeah. Okay. Uh, uh, what Your job. The what? Your job. Okay. My job. What I do for a job? I do landscaping. Landscaping? Yeah. This time of the season, there's snow on the ground where I live. So I don't work. I came here to go to pet fishing okay. and just traveling. New Hampshire is uh, very top right of USA, uh -huh. right near Canada. Canada? Yeah, close to Canada. What does, um, what does Kerry Sentry mean? And where is Kerry Sentry? Yeah, what does it mean? It's just a faster line. Okay. The fast line. Okay, I understand, okay. yeah. What is the line next to it, the right one? Si, sí, la, la otra lista, la otra. Una es sentry line y la otra es ready line. Sí. No sentry, ready line, <laughs> okay? Si. Sí. Te retienen el vehículo ahí hasta que pagues. Um, si, sí. uh, uh, no more pesos. Do I pay with uh, American dollars or pesos? Uh, what? Either one. It's, it's, it's. Well, how much money is it going to cost? 
por esas dos violaciones pagarías como 160 dólares. Okay, I, I should have enough money on me. ¿Dónde? I have money on me, so I can pay. Ah, okay. ¿Cómo te ayudo para que pagues menos allá en la estación? Ok. Sí, gracias. Ok. Yeah. Yo te puedo llevar a la Ready Line. Uh, sí, por favor. Sí. Yeah, I'm trying to get to California today. Ok. Be the luckiest man alive. I just dodged three tickets and I just got escorted by the police and by locals and I had to pay money but I'll get into that in a few minutes but I need to get over the border first. It's not done yet. I'm still not over the border. I just dodged over $200 in tickets. I don't know. That was that was a lot to deal with but we still have we still have to get over the border. I'm in the right line now. Okay. The cop escorted me to the right line so yeah I don't know I'm a little shooken up after that that was a little bit that was a bit much to deal with I wasn't expecting that today it's now one o'clock start at 11:30 and I'm making my way closer to the border in the correct line this time I really hope this goes well I'm not gonna film at the border because I've already dodged three bullets I'm just gonna take care of things off camera. I'm sorry. It's just too risky with the camera right now. This sucks. I should have went to the Tequete border. If you can, go to the Tequete border. Do not go to the Mexicali border. Especially on a Saturday. I didn't realize it was Saturday. I'm almost over though. Look. Oh, technically, I'm over the border. According to Google Maps. But not actually over the border yet, but I'm getting very close. I'm over the border. That took me two hours. The lady searched my truck pretty deep when I was at the border. She didn't search other trucks like that, so for some reason, I'm just that guy. But it doesn't matter over the border. I'm going to swap over some pesos to American dollars again, and then uh, I don't know what I'm going to do yet. I'm just happy I'm over the border. At that little station over there, I swapped over my pesos to American. I had about 400 bucks left. Head south toward Ocotillo Drive. First time I've flipped my own gas in a while. Heading to a gym to uh, de-stressify and get a shower. And then afterwards, I'll give you the full spiel about what happened today. That was the coldest but nicest shower I've ever taken. There are no Planet Fitnesses in Mexico. I'm trying to say, the showers are hard to find when you're in Mexico. But in the USA, when you have a gym membership, it's not too bad. I want to tell you about my border experience today and how badly it went. On the way down, I went through the Tequete border, which is a very small, very easy border. I highly recommend if you're traveling to Baja, you go to that one. On the way home, I thought, well, I'd save me an hour and a half or so two hours of driving if I just go through the Mexicali border and that was a bad idea well bad idea because it was more confusing and then because Logan is not good at confusing things he made a mistake so there's two sides of the border this side whatever that I forgot the name I'll put it on the screen there's this side of the border and then there's the normal side of the border they look the same one is one is two lanes one is four lanes I accidentally took the wrong lane uh, very easy to make this mistake. Other people on the same line who made the same mistake as me at the same time I was there. So, the lane that I took is is basically a fast pass lane. If you spend a couple hundred bucks, you get like this, this special card and then you can go through that pass. Uh, so you cross over the border faster. So I was in that lane by accident, right? I thought, oh, I, when I ran, I realized, I said, oh, no big deal. I'll just get out of the lane and make my way back to the other lane. But apparently, you can't do that because there's no way out. So I had to do a U-turn at the very end of the lane where all the cars were going into the border. And then I got escorted by those random guys. And then they, then I ran to the cop. And then the cop kind of gave me a little escort around to the correct area. And then he pulled me over and he proceeded to give me uh, a fine for three different things. I hope this is making sense. I'm just rambling about what happened. 
he proceeded to give me a fine for impeding traffic when they returned me around. Another fine for going in that lane to begin with. And a third fine for my camera. He noticed that I was recording and he was giving me another fine for that. So I almost got three fines. That would have been over 200 US dollars for sure because the two fines that he said were going to be 160 and then he was going to add on the camera on top of that. So that would have been even more. So I was about to have to go to the Mexicali police station to try and pay for to pay for those fines. And then he went back to his car. He made a phone call to his uh, head of the police whatever. He ended up coming back and saying that he's not going to give me a ticket and he's going to escort me to the correct line. Eventually uh, just let me go. Hope that made sense. I think the footage that I took during the process was more than enough to tell the story, but I figured I'd just talk about it a little bit. That was a mess. Not ideal. Wasn't stoked about that. I'm here in California now, and I'm happy. Starbucks. Probably about to sit in there for the next four hours and edit videos. The Wi-Fi in that Starbucks sucked. I was in there for a couple hours and my video only uploaded 10%. It stinks. The $4 Harbor Freight charger wasn't cutting it. So I bought this nice charger. Let's see how many watts it's drawing. That's a lot of watts. My battery's going to be drained in like about one hour. Launchables. I haven't had these since I was a little kid. I'm joining the fleet. This is actually my first time camping at Walmart in this trip. It's cold out here. It's like 40 out, which is... I mean, it's not cold, but definitely a little chilly. Taped up my rear window for a little extra privacy. Figured if I was at Walmart, it's worth doing this again. Just like I did in Vegas. It's crawling out of your truck in the morning at a Walmart parking lot. <sighs> Gotta give my truck a wash today. Best clean, but way better than it was, that's for sure. I even power washed the floor mats. What kind of it's a twin blade helicopter with like a wing on the Tell me what kind of helicopter that is. I have no idea. Oh, look at that tundra. Nice. I don't think anyone's gonna bother me doing an oil change here. Check this out. Stack of pennies. We got at least 50 cents right here. Oh, there's a dime in there. This is probably really hot oil. Oh. Why is it so windy? I don't think this oil pan is big enough. Yeah, it's only seven quarts. There's, there's over eight quarts in this. This is about to make a huge mess. What was that?
Dang it, the wind was blowing. I got the camera coated with oil. Idiot. I'm done. I am so done. I literally just kicked it and soaked my whole foot in hot oil. I'm so pissed right now. I'm gonna put this camera away. The camera is soaked. The camera might be junk. I got oil in every crevice. The wind blew it everywhere. I just kicked the bucket. I don't even know if this is recording. My foot is burning right now. This video has a, I made a lot of mistakes in this video. From the border to now. Man, my foot is cooking. Why did I do that? I should have just brought my truck to one of those shops to have him do it. I'm surprised I didn't dump this everywhere. There's a coat of oil on this camera now. That was the worst oil change I've ever done. Never, never made such a mess. I don't know what I was thinking. I didn't even realize that that was a seven quart thing. My shoes are probably done. My camera's probably done. That was embarrassing. This video is embarrassing. I made so many mistakes in this video at the border and now. I'm just gonna end the video before I make any more. I'm gonna be in Southern California here for another day or two and then I'm gonna be shooting out east across Texas and then I'll make my way over to the south eastern region of the USA and I'll spend some time there. Till then I'm just waiting for a package to come in at a post office local to here and then when I get that I'll hit the road again. I'll see you on the next video. Hopefully this footage looks good. I can't tell if there's oil in the lens or not. The lens looks pretty clean. Hey, I guess all I did was lubricate my camera, so I guess that's not too bad.